The Yankees lived in denial all season, so it wasn't surprising that swatting down unflattering truths about themselves was a major theme in their comments Thursday night after the Detroit Tigers swept them out of the American League Championship Series by no hitting them into the sixth inning of the clincher and scoring more runs in a game that Yankees face CC Sabathia started than the Yanks team managed to score the entire series. The same goes for announcing the media access blackout for the next three days rather than allow reporters to show up at the stadium starting thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Friday for the usual breakup they exit interviews and autopsies of their corpse of a season. This Yankees team had problems, all right. But if you thought a game for knockout punch like the one it took, heaped atop the humiliations and body blows the Yankees had already absorbed in their first three losses, would create some apt old demon off what the series exposed about them, you'd be wrong. First baseman Mark Tysera said the Yankees didn't lose or hang up the second worst team batting average for an ALCs ever because they were an older team playing thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased on fumes by the season's end. They just got outplayed. Alex Rodriguez insisted he isn't finished at 37, and vowed to come back next year like it was 2007 all over again. Alex Swisher, a perennial postseason no-show for the Yanks, complained about how criticism from home fans got under his skin after Game 2. And he wasn't alone. After Thursday's season-ending A to one loss, an anonymous teammate told the New York Daily News, I really think the booing spooked a lot of guys. A lot of guys hadn't been booed before, and they couldn't thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Believe how nasty it got in the stands. A lot of guys were talking about it in the clubhouse and I was surprised by how much it bothered them. I really don't think they ever recovered. If that's true, then shame on all of them. And so much for this team having a diamond hard resolve thanks to so many been there, done the vets who like to brag they can hurdle anything because they can handle everything, even a catastrophe like losing Derek Jeter to a broken ankle. It didn't show. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. It's also worth remembering that it wasn't just frustrated fans who turned on this Yankees team at the bitter end, it was the team's own passive-aggressive management team as well particularly when it came to Alex Rodriguez. Manager Joe Girardi all of a sudden didn't trust the same lineup that got him 95 wins, and it threw off a whiff of panic and doubt. Team President Randy Levin's assertion that A-Rod shouldn't be scapegoated for the Yanks' ouster came just days after it was reported how bad in spring training Levin thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Had discussed A-Rod with Miami Marlins owner Jeffrey Lauria and said, you can have him. General Manager Brian Cashman said the playbook of how the 2012 team was constructed wasn't to blame. It wasn't even the players themselves, Cashman insisted. It was just the way they played for a week. Cashman blamed the Yanks' sweep on a perfect storm rather than his imperfect team. It's just denial, all right. And it's a trait that doesn't bode well if the Yankees are going to fix what hurt them this thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased year. The Yankees need a philosophical tweaking just as much as a roster upgrade. And contrary to what Cashman said, what caused the Yanks to lose to Detroit wasn't a perfect storm at all. Until everything fell apart midway into game four, the Yankees starting pitching was actually terrific, and the bullpen and defense weren't bad, either. What really killed the Yankees was their inability to knock in runners in scoring position, and manufacture runs when they weren't hitting home runs. The same season-long, sort of low-grade flu that mushroomed. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Into a crippling problem for them during the playoffs, just as many baseball insiders had predicted it would for months once the Yanks had to face the better pitching that postseason teams bring. So the Yankees can't say they hadn't been warned. Still, to the ugly end, the players seemed to be swinging for the fences rather than playing situational ball when they needed to. Even as Detroit was winning without an enormous contribution from Triple Crown winner Mikel Cabrera, there were the Yanks clinging stubbornly to a philosophy that tight Sarah captured in a nutshell, thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. We're the team that lives and dies with the home run. Fine. 
and now the 2012 team knows how it's owed that ends. It was swept away while posting the lowest postseason team batting average .188 in Major League history. Type Sarah went on to add that it's difficult to overhaul the entire team's approach on the flight, just because the playoffs were here. Now the Yanks have the whole offseason to do it instead. But will they? The Yanks now face their busiest offseason since they thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Missed the playoffs in Girardi's first year and spent the windfall to bring in Sabathia and Tycero. Even if they keep Hiroki Kuro though, and they should, they still need to go out and get another starting pitcher. Andy Pettit may not come back and, any day now, don't be surprised if Sabathia finally admits his pitching elbow needs cleaning up surgically. Russell Martin should be brought back, and Ichiro too, but only at the right price, with the understanding he'd be Brett Gardner's backup. The Yankees should exercise their reasonable contract option on Curtis. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Granderson, but have a long sit down with both him and Robinson Cano, whose contract also expires after next season, about adjusting their games. Granderson should be a better all-around player than he is rather than swinging for the fences and striking out 200 plus times. Cano needs to be told he doesn't want to turn into the second coming of Alfonso Soriano, a guy who was so enthralled with his power hitting or blossoming stardom he forgot to play the game right and found himself shipped out. The Yankees will very likely conclude they have to re-sign Cano. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Same as they did a rod once upon a time. But will they learn anything about their mistake of just throwing the money at him and worrying about the rest later? Crazy as it may sound now, the psycho drama swirling around whether A-Rod stays or goes may be the biggest monster eat this team has. Rodriguez alone controls if he'll be back thanks to the no-trade clause the team also gave him as part of his absurd $275 million contract that still has five years to run. And no amount of public embarrassment seems to affect thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. His state of mind. Rodriguez definitively said Thursday that he has no interest in going anywhere else. All of this leaves it up to Cashman to work around the margins. But in contrast to his spending spree of a few years ago, the Yankees' gram will be constrained by owner Phil Steinbrenner's edict to get the payroll under the $190 million luxury tax threshold by 2014 despite Cano's pending free agency, and all the other heavy contracts and holes to plug that he's got. Yankees fans should hope Cashman's vow to come back with thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. More of the same big hairy monsters in 2013. His joking nickname for the sluggers he likes to stockpile to take advantage of the stadium's short right field porch, is just something he said in the heat of the moment Thursday out of pride, pain toward defiance. The same goes for how he dismissed the fact the 2012 Yanks were the oldest team in the majors. We're not going to turn into the Bronx Bunders, Cashman scoffed. If you're old and you're still good, it's not an issue. It's as if cratering against thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Detroit changed next to nothing for the Yanks. Denial is an amazing thing.